Now, of course, that those figures all depend on areas, and I'm just speaking specifically about this part of the Sabi Sands. Well, it's all calmed down now. And and Tandy is deep in the thicket with her kill. You can just see a bit, a bit of her there and tail flicking out. Now, Leslie would like to know, is Tamba older or younger than Shungila Nasana? He's, he's quite a lot younger. Um, than, he's only nine months old at the moment. Whereas uh, Shungila and Hasana are well over a year now um, February, March, April, May what do we know, are we April or May? no, April, so they're 12 but they're 14 months old now it's going to be 15 months next month on the 2nd now Tandy was just looked like she was, oh here we go we might get a, a bit more playing It's quite a half-hearted little swat. Yeah, Senza just keep like very still if she comes close to us. A mare is wondering, can leopards mate with their own family members? Uh, they can and they do. It's not nearly as bad as inbreeding in human beings, but they, they, they can inbreed for up to four or five generations without any adverse effects. But generally, what happens is the males will disperse to try to stop that. And even adult males, oh, come white, come white, he's gonna, he's in the stalk mode again. Mom's running away, there they go. <laughs> and they've gone right behind us. Oh, tackle, isn't that awesome? What did you guys hear? Well, as I say with Tandy, always got to be a little bit more cautious than some of the other female leopards we have. So I always tend to stay a little bit further away from her. There we go. Tumba's stalking again, come a little bit wide, a little bit wider. There we go. So he's he he's in that grass there, and we're hoping there he comes. <laughs> now full bellies, happy leopards, playful leopards. <laughs> <laughs> 